Welcome to the journey. The journey to make KLADC work. Right about now, you might be wondering, but why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? Well, I think the entirety of Kale's visual design is actually really cool. That, and she has a sword, but has ranged auto attacks. If that's not the coolest auto attack in the game, then I don't know what's wrong with you. And those are the only reasons I need to play Kale ADC. Thank you for listening to my TED Talk. Okay, so, before I make a Kale video, I need a fitting soundtrack. I need something heavenly, something that sounds like the sky, and I think I know just the thing. Or, I think I might have an even better idea. This'll surely tug on people's nostalgia strings. So, day one of Kale ADC on Summoner's Rift. None of you should be surprised by the fact that your laning phase is gonna suck. For the most part, you should just chill and CS what you can up until level 6. Once you have level 6 and your first item, you can start to take and win 2v2 fights. In this clip, even though I only have a Noon Quiver and Boots, it's already enough to start winning these fights. It's a good idea, that would be absolute torture. Wait, no, Zerath, come down, come down, come down! Oh no. Oh wait! Nice! Okay! I would have had ult, but he didn't walk down. Okay, awesome! And in this clip, even though I mess up my ultimate, and Lucian already has his mythic, I take care of him pretty quickly thanks to press the attack and the execute on Kale's E. I took up my mother's soul, and with it, her purpose. Oh cool, focus Zerath instead of me. Oh shit. <laughs> no. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. We kill him. We kill him. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> In the rare instances where I used my ult pretty well, it went a little something like this. There we go. Not bad. Tanking turrets? Yeah, I can do that. As an ADC. But like I was saying, those were pretty rare. Okay. Everybody move along. Nothing to move here. Oh! I thought Echo jumped on him. Whoops. Real quick, let me give you an introduction to the two main Kale builds that there are. There's AP, which scales a lot better, and there's AD that spikes a lot earlier. On day one, I stuck with AD builds, meaning if I got a slight lead in lane and got my mythic item first, I could do things like this. Woo! 
Nice. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. Oh my god, they surrendered. Okay. Well then. That's Kale for you. If you get a lead, you can just start running people down. That's my favorite part. But now it's already over. Jesus Christ. A tip that applies to both builds, but especially AD, is you shouldn't really use your W as a heal. It barely does any healing at all. The real power comes from the movement speed. I just stop using the heal as a heal. Like, it's really not worth it. Oh my goodness. Because if I didn't use it there, I could have given Shogat the speed up, he would have killed her. And that's about everything relevant to day one. The next bit is just a short montage of my last game. The laning phase was quite even, but I was able to build quite the lead in other parts of the map. <laughs> oh my god. This champion is fun as hell. I love the execute. Lane. I want this tower. Oh shit. <laughs> Bitch! Your champion is not that broken. Okay, a bit too ambitious. Yeah, all right then. Shit. Burn all deceivers. Oh, I need to use that. Oh my god. Okay, I died after, but the spacing there was godlike. Good, good, good. Okay. No! Oh my god. No, that would have been so cool. Oh man. Like right there. If I would have lived there, that that situation is what makes what makes it worth the horrible, horrible laning phase. Only the walk the path of oh, this is a bad spot to be in. Never mind. They just they couldn't follow up slash didn't. I don't really know. Oh, oh, pentacle, pentacle! Pe no, that was a pentacle. Oh shit. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, well. On the first day, I only ever went for AD builds. So on day two, I'm only ever gonna build AP. With an AP build, you scale a lot harder into the late game, as well as also doing a lot more healing. Just like with AD, the laning phase is gonna be really rough, and you'll have to survive a bit longer before you can start fighting back. Why are you flashing on me? Am I dead? I'm not. Easy. Okay. Now, when I'm streaming, all my fans can join the games. This made laning on Kale a lot easier, because I had junglers who would actually gank for me instead of flaming me for not picking a traditional ADC. Yeah. Oh, he is so dead. Easy. There we go. Getting an early lead on Kale can make you quite strong. On top of that, having a support by your side can make you borderline unstoppable. Take oh, a look nice. at that. What the old play? The old play. The old play. Look at the place. Look at the moves. Ignited. Exhausted. Here we go. Yeah, double exhaust. Let's go, boys. Nice. Humiliation. Easy. Kiting is a skill that's really important on Kale. Because I'm an ADC main, though, it's nothing new to me. Where I did lack in skill, though, was Kale's ultimate. Hello. 
Or maybe uh, I should have ulted one of you, but Kha'Zix is on me, I got scared. Diana thing. You can go all in if you have your ult. Oh, you don't No, have I used it. Okay. Kha'Zix was on me, so I used it immediately. Not panicking. I'm very bad at all. Yeah. Oh, but you're good at guiding. That's fine. Well, <laughs> if, if there's anything I should be good at. Yeah, but it's like, as you said, it's a conditional like Why? Verb. Why would you do that? No! No, 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 no. Stand in front of me, please, for the love of God. No! Oh my God, why? Ah. Uh. This next clip is a good showcase of how strong of a late game AP Kale has. Okay then. This is I'm trying to rank up. As long as I don't get very much auto field every single game, I'm going to get flat. Chilling, but I flat. Oh, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. You guide them to death? Ah! I am a god! Dude, and I, am, <laughs> I, I am a dead! Are you? Look, oh, Rengar. No, 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 no. Oh, he's on. Me. Oh, you screwed up. You he's screwed dead. up, cat. <laughs> oh, wait. I should go attack speed runes. Then, like this. Okay, Rengar backed off. What the fuck? No! Yep. No! We lost that match. Oh well. It happens. Okay, but I need a different rune page. I forgot, I gotta switch the runes up if I if I go AP Kale. Because in every laning phase you're at an immediate disadvantage, you tend to get shoved under tower a lot. Because of that, sometimes I actually get jungle ganks from randoms. I'll agree with you. Come on. Come on, Sorak, let's go. I have no cooldowns, but we're doing it anyways. There we go. Nice! Okay. Not bad, not bad. At times, Kale is kind of like a stat check champion, which means if you have an enchanter support, you can get away with bullshit like this. No, I can't attack, I'm not in range. Oh shit. Oh my God, holy shit, Sorakas. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, heal supports are so dumb sometimes. That isn't to say engage supports are bad. They can definitely work really well. They're sitting in this bush. Oh, shit. Finally! We <laughs> nice. Everybody yeah, we could just run Nothing someone down, it's so good. Split pushing is something that I normally don't do on regular ADCs. But because Kale is good at 1v1ing, then you might as well. Because Kale's E is an auto attack reset, I often use it on towers to push faster. Just keep the AoE in mind after level 11. Oh, why does that do AOE on the top? Why? 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 Hydra doesn't do it. Why does Kale's E do it? Oh. In case you forgot, look, laning phase is going to be boring. And just because you're a melee champion doesn't mean you can't participate in ganks. You can actually do a lot of damage if they're in your range. Just don't get too overconfident. Oh no. Okay, we got her, we got her. I'm gonna flash out. Oh, oh nice. We can put him back. I, yeah. I just have nothing. Okay. Run away, run away. Totally worth. Totally worth it. <gasps> no! I was greeting for the cannon and he flashed on me, shit! With AD Kale, you have a lot more movement speed built into your items. That's one of the bigger downsides of AP. <laughs> no, I wanted to exhaust him. There we go. Oh, fine. There, you piece of ass. Why? Oh my god, you almost killed me. Oh, okay. Yi was right there.
I decided to try Rylar's Crystal Scepter, hoping it would help me run down the enemy team. Oh, they know. Okay. Like, yeah, sure, dude. What? It works on your E's empowered auto attack and on the waves from your passive, meaning at level 16, every auto attack will slow. <laughs> okay, maybe Rylice isn't that bad. Also, throughout the day, I was starting to get a little better at using my ult. Pretty nice once you have it stay. Frozen Mallet doesn't exist anymore. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, shit. Didn't survive the whole thing. On day three, I wasn't sticking to one build or the other, more just ironing out my skills and learning a bit more about the champion. For example, pairing her with a mage support is also really good. Oh, nice, though. There we go. Not bad. There it is. Nice. After winning lane quite hard, all thanks to me, obviously, we just kept pushing out our lane and they didn't come stop us. Remember when I said I was getting better at using my ult? Yeah, about that. Tunnel vision doesn't help. I got this. Oh no. Oh wait, I had ult, but I was killing <coughs> Caitlyn instead. <laughs> <laughs> You were waiting for it, weren't you? <laughs> oh shit. An important tip you can't forget is that the enemy team is not dumb. They know what Kale is capable of in the late game. And at times, they will use everything to stop you. Yo, okay then! What the actual fuck? The, uh, like, like, ex excuse me, really? Really? With, like, re really? Three flashes? Uh. In the next game, we got ganked really early. My support died, and they forced me off of a lot of CS because of it. But I was able to play safe until I had my ult, and then with a gank from our own jungler, take control of the lane. Problem, but... I did that last because it's never solved the problem for me before. Oh, that's sad. I have all the. Okay, kill you. Yeah, no, I'll just do it at the end to save me. Exhaust her just in case. <laughs> nice. Out of that, we were able to snowball the game. You have your ultimate? Yeah. Easy. And now for the last game I played on Kale ADC before making this video. We got a massive lead early, and it only got bigger throughout the game. Wait, how much how much longer till you are six? Ooh, well, uh, oh. Okay. With no problem. They don't I mean have actually all. I could buy boots. I could back and then you get solo XP. No no no, it's fine. It's fine mm -hmm. like this. Okay, Soraka then. Nice. That works. Now I have it for the cannon. Okay. We can die. Yeah. Oh shit. Hang on, I'll just tank. Oh, you really. No, don't hook her to me. Okay, we're good. 
you want to go back in? I can ult you when you want to go in, and then you just do it all on your own. Okay. <laughs> hey, okay, okay, okay. Give it up. <laughs> he actually went for it. Why? Oh. Oh my god, I did so much damage. Wow. Temple though. Oh, oh. Instead of Halo Blades. Yeah, you good? You fine? Oh, yeah. Oh my god, he flashed in. What the hell are you doing? What? Like, at least wait until my ult's over. No, I think we got this. Yeah, yeah, because they're busy on Kane. The light You're not able. He comes. Oh, 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 oh